Another four inch loudspeaker that I've had in my collection for a good while, 36, 16, 25, Looks like dash 15, if you reference these first few numbers, comes back to a Philco. And you can see I don't have the spider, don't have the voice coil, the cone or surround. I've already created the spider. Not sure if that's gonna work in a new voice coil. Measuring about 3.2 ohms of DC resistance and there's the uh, homemade spider that I'm going to try to apply and I'll glue it down at these two points and put shims in again I want to uh, check the height again this particular uh, voice coil the best I could uh, actually wind it is about two millimeters or three millimeters roughly taller than the uh, plate itself right here. So I need a couple millimeters above and below. Let me get this shimmed up, get it in place. I'll let that uh, dry for a period of time. Get my voice coil leads tied in. Then I'll look at the uh, surround itself and see what I've got that I can use there and uh, fabricate a, another cone. See if this thing will actually uh, play. Pretty cool little PM loudspeaker. Be neat if I can save it. Shims in place around the uh, voice coil center pole piece. Again, only a few thousandths of an inch to work with. So uh, very difficult, tedious and just eyeballing it. I think I'm a couple millimeters above that uh, top plate. I'm gonna go ahead and put some epoxy down on the plastic spider that I built. And then I'll secure the spider back to the uh, basket later after that sets up. That'll give me just a little bit more uh, wiggle room here. I roughed up the uh, plastic spider as well. Let that cure for about three or four hours and get the spider tied back down to the frame. If you're wondering where the spider design came from, it was from an earlier spider for a larger speaker. I think it was a five or six inch. And I traced it out, scanned it, and then for this particular speaker basket, I just decreased the size by 25% and uh, cut it out. Instead of cutting right in this area, I just went straight across due to the uh, voice coil itself being just a little larger diameter. As I've done in the past, just a donor surround from a larger speaker cut. There's my cut line and uh, gluing it to uh, fit the parameter of the loudspeaker. Just letting the epoxy dry and also where I sealed around the uh, new cone that I built around the uh, surround. And then just tape at four locations just to hold the uh, surround down. And sealed on the back side as well where the surround meets the uh, homemade cone. 